We're excited to introduce two members of the team from New Vision Credit Union who are doing amazing things in the Orange County community. And Nadia Flores, the uh, AVP of Community Engagement and Chris Brawny, who is the SVP of Member Experience, are here to talk to us about their latest initiatives. And they have been amazing in keeping things moving through this COVID year. So welcome to both of you. Thanks for being here. Hey, good morning. It's good to see you. Thank you. It's good to be seen. This segment has taken about a year to make happen. So <laughs> we're really excited to hear about all that's going on at New Vision Credit Union. So Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about the organization? Okay. Yeah. Well, New Vision Credit Union has been around for, you know, decades and decades. We're, you know, a long-term part of the community and, um, you know, here in California. And now we've actually branched out into multiple states. So currently New Vision has you know, offices and a presence in five different states, California, Arizona, Washington, uh, Wyoming, and Alaska. And, you know, as part of that, we take it, you know, very seriously that being part of those communities, it's also a responsibility for us to be a steward of those communities as well. So we do take that seriously and we try to be a big part of the communities, um, you know, really helping support the efforts that are already there and trying to make our communities better for everyone. So as a credit union, you help build the communities through business practice, but your side of it is really the philanthropic wing. Is that right? It, it's really both. It's, you know, um, you know, as a business, you know, and as a credit union or, you know, most people, you know, would recognize it more, you know, for banking, you know, we, we do have a big part of that, making sure that, you know, our members, um, our small businesses have the resources that they need. But then, you know, back to that stewardship part, it's very important to all of us at New Vision to make sure that we're helping the communities from a philanthropic standpoint. So, you know, how can we get involved? Um, you know, really our focus has been on, you know, our veterans and first responders, in particular during this pandemic. Uh, but then another thing which is really overlooked in many, many communities out there, and that's the financial education piece. So those are some things that we take, you know, we hold very near and dear to our heart, um, take very seriously and want to make sure that we can support the community. I was reading about your money masterclass. I wish I had had that starting out. Lauren, I was just going to say the same thing. I have two college kids and they call me for all kinds of reasons. I meant most of them financial where they're like, hey, <laughs> Do this. Not, not just about mom, put money in my account, please. <laughs> well, yesterday my conversation was, do I really need to pay taxes? <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're on basic level, but it is, I was looking on your site and it was, it's really exciting to see all of the different videos that you've got available and just tons of super good resources to help all kinds of us, you know, whether we're financially savvy or not. I think yeah, that's it. Sorry, Laura, that with the COVID, right, we couldn't get together and there's a lot that happened with that. But at the same time, you know, now we can create products and things online to reach a bigger audience and make it accessible. So like you were saying, your, your college students, maybe they missed our webinar, but now we have the recordings there and that's that's free information. And that's such valuable information that, you know, we curated specifically for college students to be able to answer their questions. So. I'm glad you got that resource and we just want to get it out to as many you know, students as possible and, and even adults that still need that. Well, you know, as Amy was saying that, I was thinking, what a great Mother's Day gift that a mother could give to her children. Oh, that is a, that is a great idea. I'm going to give that to my kids. Yeah, send them the <laughs> link. a series of videos for you to watch. <laughs> exactly. Send them the links. And as my Mother's Day gift, you should watch them and tell me what you learned. That's a fabulous idea. I love it. Well, what are some of the like um, some of the top programs you guys are doing to help with some of this financial education? Do you are there any that are stand out for you guys? You want you want that one, Nadia? <laughs> yeah. So part of the the webinar series there is we've launched a scholarship opportunity that we call the Essay Challenge because when students watch the videos uh, and right now we have three available then they can actually apply for a scholarship. And we want them to let us know in essentially, you know, two page essay, how they're going to apply what they learned uh, in their real life. And so 
uh, the, the big prize is $5,000 and then we have some runner-up Ow. prizes. But yeah, it's a, a tremendous help because we know that, you know, college is getting more expensive and just what costs of living and especially during COVID. So we don't want students to feel like they can't pursue their dreams of higher education. You know, we actually want to promote and walk alongside with them in that journey. And so if we can, you know, create a scholarship opportunity and they're learning at the same time, right, then that's a win-win. Wow, that is that is amazing. Oh. And you, you know, need to send that link to your kids. I'm definitely sending. <laughs> I didn't even know about that. That is fantastic, and I definitely will. And what a great motivator it could be because for college students, for example, that's a huge sum of money. Mm-hmm. So, and for anyone really. So it's that's really that's really exciting. And very yeah, so if you're a California resident, you can apply high school senior or a current college student. Um, wow. And the deadline for that ends May 21st. So we definitely want to get the word out there that this opportunity is available. Definitely. That's great. That is- and I would just, I'm sorry. I was just going to add, you know, this is a group that largely goes neglected. And, you know, this, the high school seniors and, you know, especially our first year college students, they're, you know, they're leaving the nest, so to speak. Mm-hmm. They're going out on their own. You know, they're dealing with a lot of the issues that we as adults have to deal with and struggle with, honestly, on a day to day basis, you know, as far as paying our bills. And, you know, they've been given no guidance on this, um, you know, with strained education resources. It's not something the schools focus on. So, again, being responsible stewards for our communities, we have to make sure that we're doing our part to help prepare the, these students as they transition from the home life, you know, to their individual lives. And, you know, college students get bombarded. You know, we hear all about school debt. And, you know, this is a way for us to kind of give back and, you know, help these students. So they're still pursuing their dreams for an education, but, you know, they're not adding to the debt in the process. And then we can also help through the classes to help teach them to manage the debt more responsibly. Mm -hmm. You know, that is such a good point. As you were talking, I was remembering that when I went to college, the first pieces of mail I got were offers for pre-approved credit cards. Mm -hmm. And so many of us took the credit cards and just started to build debt. We didn't know, we didn't know exactly what we were doing until of course our parents took took a look and and really just (laughs) everything kind of came crumbling down. So this level of education and the scholarship offerings and just the opportunities that you've provided are brilliant. Thank you so much for doing that. This is exciting. So how, how do um, people who want to apply for this, how do they find it? Where do they go? Yeah, there's a simple link, sachallenge.com. And then we have um, a similar opportunity in Alaska. There's a separate link for that. But if you go to sachallenge.com, you can find the California piece on okay. there. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. And Lauren, when you were saying, right, like back back when I went to school and you went to school and, and we think about right now, the landscape is so different because there's mobile payment and, you know, they, they're ordering Uber, they're ordering food yeah. on their phone, they're paying for iTunes. And so it's also like you don't actually have the cash in your hand or a check that you, you know, have to rip out. It's like the money is just electronically going and yet you're paying such a, a, a margin on those conveniences and so it's just really different. And I feel like students don't realize that because this is the world that they've grown up in, right? If they want something, amazon.com, it's there in two days. And so really this, this information is just so key right now for this population. It's That's amazing. So, such a good point. I came home one day from a meeting and my daughter and all of her friends had door dashed dinner from my credit card and they're sitting there and I walk in and they're like, oh, hi mom. <laughs> we decided to get Panda Express. Is that okay? We just used your DoorDash account. And so I love like what you're saying is completely valid. And then my next door neighbor, you know, they had a a snafu where they had Amazon packages randomly coming to their house. And they figured out that their three-year-olds had figured out how to use the iPad. Oh no. Oh my (laughs) gosh. We were just ordering stuff. Like they were ordering like weird things like like engine parts and like just things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like there's this benevolent cloud of money that rains down on people. Exactly. Now. People don't figure it out. You know, they can't, they, you know, it, and, and it's so true. You don't see it. I don't see my family, my Apple family sharing iTunes bill every month. It just, 
I just, you know, can use my iTunes whenever I want, you know, and it's so easy to order movies and entertainment. It's everything. It's just free for the taking. So being able to teach those financial skills are, it's more, never been more important. Love what you're doing. So you guys have us covered on two levels because in May we've got Mother's Day. We've also got Memorial Day. And I know you guys do a lot of focused work with veterans. So tell us a little bit before we let you go. I don't want to miss the opportunity to learn about that. Yeah, so we, we have done a lot of work with the veterans, you know, over the past uh, roughly five years. And I will tell you, it's some of the most rewarding stuff I've done in my career. Um, in fact, you know, just this past weekend, you know, I uh, was able to spend some time with some local Marines um, for a, you know, barbecue contest. So it's little things like that. And then, you know, part of the bigger thing on Memorial Day and Veterans Day, we always do what's called a gas giveaway. And we partner with some local gas stations and we enable, you know, veterans to come by, simply show their veteran ID and they're able to fill up their, fill up their tank, um, you know, on New Vision. Wow. Mm. And it, it sounds like such a simple thing, but, you know, with some of these veterans stretch very thin nowadays, you know, it, uh, there's, there's some that come through and it just brings tears to your eyes because, you know, I've, I've heard the comment multiple times. I didn't know how I was going to get through the week. You know, thank goodness, you know, New Vision was there to help fill my tank. Um, literally having people push their cars into the gas station, you know, to get filled up. So, you know, especially for this group that's done so much for us, uh, it's just great to be able to give back a little piece. And we have, you know, all our New Vision, uh, you know, team members out there volunteering. And I know it's, you know, across the board, this is one of our favorite events every year. So how can our viewers learn more about New Vision in general? So, you know, Nadia can talk more in detail, but we've got, you know, newvisionfederal.org. Our website is always a great place to start. Um, we're, you know, we have a great presence on social media, um, you know, and that gives you, you know, daily updates on really what's going on with New Vision and what's going on in our communities. Did you want to say more about that, Nadia? I think, you know, it's a great question, Lauren, and um, our website is in our social media channels, the best way to get connected. So just, you know, find a local branch, talk to a representative too, if you have, you know, specific needs like, you know, you want to help your college students start to learn to save or, you know, maybe right now with everything that's going on, you know, you do have questions about interest rates and loans. So, you know, we, we love to work with our community and that's just more of a relationship, right? That's the difference with the credit union, I feel. So just come on in, you know, don't be shy and, and reach out. We'd love that. And uh, just for all of our viewers, New Vision, spell it N U vision rather than n-e-w if you're just doing yes research. right and we'll post the web at the website on the screen so everybody will be able to see it thank you so much for joining us both of you this has been such great information and i'm really looking forward to going and learning more myself definitely and thank you for being such a, a responsible financial institution that wants to help train our kids and I, I just really appreciate that, you know, corporate responsibility that you have and um, hope that uh, others can learn from you as well. Well, thank you. Thanks yeah. so much.